I have been improving my mountain biking simulation. You can see that I've been adding in more details of the bike frame geometry and of the rider. It is already good enough to show why you can't do a manual by pulling up on the handlebar. I modeled the arms and legs of the rider as springs to impart the appropriate forces on the pedals and on the handlebar so I could simulate what it's like to try to do a bunny hop. In this simulation, the player only has control over the springs for the legs and the spring for the arms. Since I'm just modeling the torso, I had to put in to the simulation the rotational moment of inertia to try to get it more realistic than this. I also added a rotational spring to keep the rider upright so it wouldn't flop over backwards. I double checked the riding position against some stock photos I found on the web. The physical dimensions I can check by measuring, but the spring rates and damping of the human body are a little bit more tricky. So to check those, I built a course with some obstacles that the rider would have to bunny hop or bounce over somehow. I could also check the bike dynamics by just bouncing around in a parking lot. Here you can see it's far too twitchy. For safety, I put in the maximum amount of force that the rider's arms and legs could take before braking. So here is a comparison between the rider doing nothing versus shifting his weight forward or backward at the right time. You can see it makes all the difference in getting over obstacles. You may have noticed that in the bottom left corner of the screen, I plot the fork and shock compression. So I'm fairly certain that these are set up reasonably. Now that the bike and rider are working pretty well, I'm gonna focus on making the terrain have some drops, jumps. I also want to add some loose gravel to make it more interesting.